I have another rotary axis project for you this week. This time I'm going to be making something a little bigger. This is a six inch long uh, piece of material. I'm going to be rounding it to a four and a half inch diameter. So that's uh, quite a bit bigger than what I've been running with the chest pieces. If you look closely, you'll see that I'm using a quarter inch end mill, but it's got a half inch shank. And as I'm watching it do these pocket um, tool pass, I realize that that's not going to work. So with the magic of video editing, you can now see that I'm using a quarter inch end mill, but it's with a quarter inch shank. And the problem here was I had to, because of the, I think the overall length of the bit was two and a half inches and I needed about two in, two inches hanging out I had to uh, really pull a lot of it out of the collet and then just tighten the heck out of the collet and you'll see here in just a second you can see how close the collet is to uh, hitting the material but it all worked out so all is well here I am doing the roughing pass again I'm using that same quarter inch end mill and uh, it was able to reach everything with that uh, two inches of bit uh, pulled out there. I apologize for some of the funky glare you're seeing here in this video. I didn't realize it was in there until uh, I you know, started editing this video. But the uh, it's, it's about 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time and the sun is slowly setting over there in the west and it's shining directly in that window through the trees making uh making all this crazy glare on the uh on the video okay here we're starting the finishing pass and i decided to use the raster motion so it at zero degrees so it's basically the x-axis going back and forth and even though with this video sp uh, sped up I think I've got this set it like eight times. It looks like uh, the A axis isn't even turning, but it's every time it gets to the end, it's turning uh, less than a half of degree. So, um, you know, you don't even see it move hardly, but you can slowly see the, uh, the figure start to take shape. If this is your first time watching a Gatton CNC in action and you'd like to learn more about them, visit my website at www.davegatton.com and you'll find lots of information about the Gatton CNC kits that I offer and uh, you can pretty much uh, learn all about them there. You should also feel free to join the Gatton CNC Facebook group and you can ask all kinds of questions to the people that have built these machines and find out uh, what their opinions of them are. I'll have a link below in the description to the uh, DaveGatton.com website as well as the Gatton CNC Facebook group. So if you want to check those out, just look for the links below in the video description. It's right about now as I was watching this run that I had an idea to try to um, run a second finishing pass because if you look at the bottom of the base there you can see it's pretty thick and I can tighten down the chuck real good and make sure that you know I, I don't didn't feel like it was going to be too fragile so I was trying to figure out a way to not have to just saw off that thing on the top of his head but to actually cut it off with another finishing pass so I got an idea to set up a second finishing pass but I made just a very narrow um, vector box and told the the pass you know to go with the model inside those vectors and it would basically part it off from that um, round dowel part sticking out of his head and if it did mess up you know it's just Einstein's hair so you know you would probably wouldn't even notice so here you're going to see this in just a second here all right, now I, I have this set super slow because I was worried about this bit plunging because it's going to go all the way to zero. 
But once it made that first plunge, then of course it's just rotating about, you know, four tenths of a degree or something like that. So then I could speed it up. So I, I had it set really super slow, like, I don't know, 10 inches a minute or something until it made that first plunge. Then once I knew the bit wasn't going to break and it was good to go, I just uh, kept it going and sped it up. Here you're going to see it finally broke through so I stopped the machine for a second and pulled that little piece out and then continued on and all it did was leave a little bit of a nub on his head. And here's the final uh, thing after I've uh, sanded it a little bit. And then here's a look with a little uh, spray lacquer on him. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button. And if you'd like to subscribe, uh, hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the little bell so you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.